We witness a lot of audacious, awe-inspiring record attempts here at Guinness World Records. And here's another from the team at Hacksmith Industries. After building the world's first proto lightsaber, Hacksmith next set their sights on another Guinness World Record title by building the world's brightest outsized flashlight. They started with the brightest flashlight you can buy and, well, decided to multiply that by over 15 times. Let's see just how they did it. Just for reference, this is the current amount of LEDs in the world's most powerful flashlight. And this is the number of LEDs in our flashlight. We have 300 LEDs. They are split between 50 boards. Those 50 boards go to 50 constant current drivers. Those 50 drivers, they are all powered by one battery. Make sense? Good. We're gonna take this <coughs> and make it into that. Now that the heat sink is done, I guess I should put all these LED PCBs together, eh? Awesome, these look good. I just have to do this 49 more times. Got all 50, let's put them on the heat sink. I just have to do this 49 more times. A giant flashlight needs a giant switch. Let's go ahead and turn it on. You know what goes great with a giant switch? a giant button. Our flashlight is gonna have three different modes, low, high, and turbo. And that's all gonna be controlled by this little button right here. All those buttons, all those switches, all those screens, all those LED drivers come into this, this LED monstrosity. I guess all systems are go, let's test it out. This is gonna take a while. One better. Oh, oh, that's hot! Oh, uh, 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 I'm too bright. Uh, <sighs> so, uh, that actually worked really well. But as you can see, light just kind of went everywhere. And traditionally speaking, flashlights have a much more focused beam. So let's see what we can do about that. You might have seen grandma or grandpa using one of these things. It's called a Fresnel reading magnifier. It allows you to focus on a certain area of text, kind of like a magnifying glass. If we take a light source and apply it to the other side of the lens, we can actually focus light into a point. Well, the bag's on fire. Man, that is some black smoke. Oh, the golf ball's on fire. The golf ball's really on fire. <laughs> That's actually hot. We can start off by actually getting a smaller lens and putting them on each of these individual LEDs to ensure the light is as collimated as possible going into the bigger lens over there. But what about this gap in between? We're gonna need a way to actually keep the light in a tunnel. So I've gone ahead and sourced a fancy reflector, also known as a common trash can, to go in between. Let's just get rid of this though. We're gonna saw the bottom off and coat the entire inside with this reflective material to make sure it doesn't catch fire. What about all these electronics? Where are they gonna go? And how are we gonna hold it? Well, I've gone ahead 
and source something that I think we can fit everything into. So now all that's left is to put it together and give it a coat of paint. The giant LED array has been mounted to this concrete footing. I've taken all the wires and pulled them through so you can see them right here. A little bit of a mess, but uh, but piece by piece, it's coming together. This is like the last 5%, so let's say 95% done. It's, it's gonna work. <laughs> Woo! Well, look at that. It's a flashlight, it's gotta be clean, you know? Also, this was the garbage can, so there's that. <laughs> oh, VHB. I'm gonna use it all, don't tell Dave. This flashlight looks incredible. Chris did a fantastic job, but how does it stack up to the competition? Let's find out. Lights. So over here, we got your standard rinky-dink over-the-counter flashlight. Let's see how it does. Eh, not, not great. All right, let's try the Imolent MS18. This is the world's brightest production flashlight available. Woo! Pretty bright. That's, that's pretty bright. Well, there goes the fan. <laughs> I think we can do better though. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> you can't see the sign LEDs anymore. Oh God. Lights. All right, so that certainly looks impressive, but maybe we could measure the light output in a more scientific way. This is called a Crookes radiometer and it actually measures light radiation. Let's see what happens when we put this in front of each flashlight. All right, starting with the rinky dink flashlight. Let's see what happens. No, it's, it's moving. Oh yeah, it is. One rotation every hour. Maybe not that slow. <laughs> Let's try bringing it a little bit closer. There we go. Solar power right there. S slowly spinning. All right, let's see what the Imolent 18 can do. All right, world's prize flashlight. Let's see what happens. Woo! Uh oh. Oh! Spinning. Oh, oh man. <laughs> it's spinning real fast. <laughs> Let's try our flashlight. Oh you can't, you can't see anything. <laughs> All right, we've only got seven seconds before this baby overheats. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! Look how fast it's spinning. Whoa! Holy crap. It, it, it broke it. Oh my, oh my God. God. How did light fold something? What have we done? What have we created? Look at that. All right, that was pretty impressive, but we need to give this bad boy some room to breathe. You know how big a football field is, right? Let's start with the rinky-dink flashlight. Yeah, not very good. Is it on? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I can barely see it. Okay. All right, let's try the Imolin MS-18, the world's brightest flashlight. That's pretty bright. Yeah. Well, let's see how ours does. Hey. It's so bright. Jeez. Uh -oh. Oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> Remember Grandma and Grandpa's reading lens from before? Well, here it is now. Let's see what happens. Oh, God. So what do you think? High beams? High beams. It's 
So there you go, at 501,031 lumens, Hacksmith Industries smashed the world record for the brightest outsized flashlight. What records would you like the team to turn their spotlight onto next? Make sure you subscribe to the channel at youtube.com forward slash the Hacksmith to see more of their crazy inventions. It's a flashlight, not a battering ram. Come on, man, it's a Hacksmith video. Oh, That's what I do. Oh.